Hello everyone, it's Jennifer McCreef, April 12th, 2018. I had to turn the camera on and rant a little bit. Uh, I've been seeing stories uh, posted uh, all over news sites uh, suggesting that the Boston Marathon is going to allow trans people to race for the very first time this year in 2018. And uh, as a trans person who has run the Boston Marathon twice in the past, that makes me feel very insulted. Uh, it makes me feel degraded, erased, and whitewashed, as if I don't matter and if I don't exist. I'm not blaming the Boston Marathon or the Boston Athletic Association. I'm blaming the news outlets who have twisted this story. Members of the Boston Athletics Association were asked to comment on their policy for trans people, and they clarified. They didn't come up with a new policy. They clarified the procedure that they have that they are using and that they always have been using and that included referencing qualifying races and the fact that uh, in my case having previously been accepted by other races as a female um, I would then be sanctioned into Boston based on my qualifying race so kind of a bit of a cop-out actually to say we don't need a policy because the qualifying races are the ones that have the policies and they're going to be the ones that screen in athletes and decide who gets to run in what sex category and whatnot. So media is blowing this up uh, to make it out to be a big deal and falsely state that this is something that's a brand new issue. And uh, I mean, it's a shame. See these two things here? I mean, they're pieces of pewter. They're probably not worth very much. Uh, in terms of a monetary value, but these are my two Boston Marathon finishing medals, uh, 2009 and 2010, uh, which, by the way, happened long before 2018 happened. And uh, life is tough being trans, and uh, to do anything while trans takes a lot more effort uh, because of the challenges and, and the discrimination and the crap we got to put up with with society, with negative-minded people, negative news outlets, and in many cases negative government bodies. And uh, I think we should be celebrating the accomplishments, especially the LGBTQ communities. We should be celebrating accomplishments such as these. Anybody who's trans that can run Boston, get into Boston, those qualifying times are tough, male or female. And uh, if you can do this, you, you should be respected in your city, in your province, country, state, wherever you are, um, as a hero, as a trailblazer, and as a legend. Because this proves that trans people are capable of doing extraordinary things. And to suggest that this has never happened before, we, we don't exist, those medals don't exist, my running didn't exist, isn't going to help us move forward as a society. The goal here is to find better acceptance, embracement, and not just tolerance. And uh, there's going to be a lot of pressure put on these five trans people running this year because of this fake news. But uh, I'd like to hear and if you're out there, any trans person who has run any marathon, not just Boston, put it out there. Let your name be see heard and seen. And let's embrace each other and celebrate each other's accomplishments. Because uh, running a marathon is one heck of a tough thing to do. Uh, it takes a lot of training and dedication and effort. And only the top 10% of marathon runners can even get into Boston. And to the five trans folks running, this year. Best of luck. Uh, happy training. Happy tapering this week. Please be uh, alert. Be careful out on the course. You never know what's going to happen in, in the United States these days with Donald Trump and all these wacko right-winger. I just really hope there's not going to be any type of hate crimes committed. Uh, heck, we had that Boston bombing thing there a few years back. Yeah, just Make sure you have friends and spotters in the crowd who can keep an eye on. Make sure that you're, you're there. Yep, cross the 20K mark. Yep, they cross the 30K mark. Yeah, they're, they cross the finish line. They're still here. They're alive. Um, I, I really hope we can uh, 
take care of these five people and look out for them, cheer them and support them. This is a great accomplishment. Um, have a great race, folks. And yes, any of you, you don't have to be trans. Anybody who has these, keep them, hold them up high and be proud because you've done something amazing. Thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer McCreeth.